Daisy, you're drunk at the Christmas party. What should you never do? Snog the boss. Ah. Snog the boss's car. No, Daisy, <laughs> you must never drink and drive, mm. as Paul Garner reveals in this disturbing report. People who don't like Paul Garner should look away now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, great office party, guys, but I ought to be making tracks. Hold on, Paul, have a drink. Have one for the road. It is Christmas. No, I'd better not. I'm driving. What? Are you some sort of a puff or something? No way. I love a drink. <laughs> You're right, of course. This isn't real. But it could so easily be a scene from any office Christmas party across the country. Unlike a lot of twats who might drink like a mick and then climb behind the wheel of the car, I simply say no. I don't drink and drive. Every Christmas, some knobhead like this rolls out of the pub after a skin full of grog and thinks he's safe to drive. But in a matter of minutes, he'll go from dog and duck to dead and fut. <laughs> this year, try and remember the three-point plan which could turn a driver into a survivor. Yeah, it'd be really nice if you could come to the party next week. All right, thanks, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of us going down there, but it won't be... The Spend the day of the party befriending the office loser. Um, you will drive us home after, so we can have a drink, won't you? He'll be so delighted at being part of the crowd, he'll stay off the sauce so he can drive you home. And you and your mates can get <laughs> blitzed on strong Dutch froth. Get matey with an Arab. He'll definitely drive, as their religion forbids them from drinking, leaving you free to gannet the grog till the early hours. <laughs> or better still, touch up some bloke's missus, <laughs> start a brawl and get a free lift home with a filth. <laughs> so then what, you gave him a smack in the teeth? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. These guys have seen it all before. That's why they've invited me here to the police test track in Essex to find out just how much my driving ability and reactions are affected after a couple of drinks. OK, Paul, so you've had four units of alcohol. Yep. Uh, let's start her up and see how quickly you can react to my command to stop. OK? okay? <laughs> let's make this test a little bit more realistic and get a proper-sized party night piss-up portion down my neck. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that if I was you, Paul. Stop! Stop! As I did, you may feel you're quite capable of driving. Your reactions are drastically limited. And instead of finding yourself stopping in the nick of time, you'll find yourself stopping for some time in the nick. <laughs> now, some poor recovery guy's going to have to spend his Christmas picking this turkey apart, working out what's a wing and what's a leg. <laughs> this Christmas, you're either on the piss or rest in piss. The choice is yours. Before you drink, before you drive, like an asshole. <laughs>